Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the non-specific defense systems of the human body. We've already seen that lots of human diseases are caused by pathogens. For example, salmonella food poisoning, HIV, malaria and measles. Now the body has two main defense systems against pathogens. These are the non-specific defense system and the immune system. In this video, we're looking at the non-specific defense system. The job of the non-specific defense system is to prevent pathogens from entering the human body. And there are four main parts. We're going to look at each one in turn. The first part of the non-specific defense system is the skin. The skin forms a protective layer covering the body. The outer layer of the skin consists of dead cells, and this is difficult for pathogens to penetrate. The skin also produces an oily substance called sebum, which can kill bacteria. Sometimes the skin's damaged, and that could allow pathogens to enter the body. To stop this, the skin scabs over, and we can see that here. Now, there are some parts of the body which are not covered by the skin, and good examples include the nostrils and the mouth. These present openings where pathogens can enter the body. So the body also has defense systems in place to protect us. The nose contains hair and mucus. These can trap pathogens before they enter the breathing system. However, sometimes pathogens pass through the nose and then make their way down towards our lungs. So to stop this, the trachea and the bronchi are covered with tiny hairs called cilia. I'm showing you a picture of cilia here. Cilia are covered in mucus which can trap pathogens. The cilia now waft the mucus upwards towards the throat, where it's swallowed into the stomach. So we're going to finish now by looking at how the stomach defends us against pathogens. Now, as we said before, a good example of a disease caused by a pathogen is salmonella food poisoning. And in fact, there are lots of different pathogens that can be present on food. So to protect us, the stomach contains hydrochloric acid. This kills pathogens before they can make their way further down into the digestive system. Now I should point out that even with all these non-specific defense systems, pathogens can still get into the human body and cause serious disease. So to protect us, we also have the immune system, and we're going to look at that in our next video. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the non-specific defense system in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the non-specific defense systems of the human body.